Hey, it's Wednesday and we're so excited for camp today. Make sure you submit all your entries to win the Dairy Queen gift card. Feel the wonder, say his name. Watch the darkness slip away. Put your power on display. Say goodbye to fear and shame.
A person on a boat. Pyramid. A pirate. A food chain. A boat. A boat. A boat. A paddle. Uh, oh, the uh, uh, stage of the boat. A boat. Yeah, yeah. A boat. went across all of the Middle East, planting churches and telling everyone about God and his son Jesus. He also wrote letters. He wrote letters to all the cities and churches he had visited to encourage them on their walk with Jesus. Sometimes he had to write and correct them because their beliefs didn't line up with who God is or what the Bible says. But most of the time, he just taught them about the wonderful love of Christ and how we can live for him. The letters he wrote in the Bible are Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Philemon, Galatians, Philippians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, Ephesians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, and Titus. He was one of the greatest encouragers. He would even write letters from prison because it was so important to him that none of the people he met felt alone in their walk with God. When he couldn't go visit the churches that he had helped start, he would send people like Titus or others he trusted to deliver the letters of encouragement to them. Some of the letters he wrote were to individuals like Timothy and Titus, who he helped train in telling others about Jesus too. We can learn a lot from Paul's love and encouragement for others and how he worked as a team. Hey guys, so I love going to the beach and playing volleyball with my friends and being able to hit a ball around. It's a lot of fun, but you know what isn't fun? Playing with the ball by yourself. Because you can hit the ball, but it never comes back to you. The ball always never returns because there's no one to play with. And I find that playing with others and working in a team is so much more fun because you have friends and there's a community that you can get along with and you're not doing stuff by yourself. See, in the Bible, Paul loved working in a team. We just learned from our Bible story that he would write letters to different groups of people in churches and would encourage them. See, people in our own church need encouragement too. Our challenge for you this week is to write a letter of encouragement to someone in your life, whether that's a family member, a friend, or even the mailman. Everyone needs some encouragement. God wants us to live in a community. He doesn't want us to be alone and be isolated. He says two are better than one. We have our church community, we have our community at school, our neighborhood, all those people, when we work together, when we encourage one another, when we're with one another, life is better. So I'm gonna say a prayer today, and we're gonna pray that we would be more encouraging, that we would work better as a team, that we would be life-giving and use life-giving words. So let's pray right now. Countdown to pray, four, three, two, one. Dear Jesus, we just thank you that you've created people, that we are not alone, that we have friends and family and church community to do life with, that we're never isolated. And I just pray that we would learn from Paul, who is always encouraging other people and encouraging them in their faith 
and just correcting them so that they could be the best that they could be. God, I just pray right now that you would help us be the best that we could be, that we would give life-giving words, that we would speak life into other people, and that would help them be encouraged in their walk with you, God. So God, we just pray that you would help us be team players and that you would just move in us, God, right now. In Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. Amen. Today's craft is bouncy frogs. So first we're gonna take these two thicker pieces. We're gonna stack them on top of each other like this at the end, and then fold them over each other. bouncer. I'm going to stick this in the middle of my lily pad. Now we get to add detail to our lily pad. I'm going to use this thinner marker and tightly wrap around this paper and it's going to be the tongue for the frog. If you'd like to, you can use a marker and decorate your frog as well. You can do some cool patterns. top of my bouncer and put belly down on the frog. Now we have a bouncing frog. Okay, today's activity is beach volleyball. You're gonna split your family into two teams and take pictures and send them to Pastor Justine to enter the ballot to win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> 